My father was only 42 when he died, only two years older than I am now. He passed away in June of 1986 on the 18th, at least that is what mom told me when I asked. It was a month after my 16th birthday. My parents had been divorced since I was around five years old or so. After that I saw him on holidays and the occasional vacation. I remember one vacation we took was to Minnesota on a fishing trip with my grandparents. On that trip I caught the biggest fish I had ever caught. I still remember my epic battle getting it into the boat, with my father's help, while my grandfather watched. Grandma stayed back at the cabin. We had lugged a 19-inch TV along with us so she could watch her shows during the day. At that time there was no cable, just rabbit ears, so everything on TV was seen through a curtain of static. During that trip one morning my father decided to get me up early to go fishing with him. Early meant 5 a.m. It was already light that early, that far north, and it was cold out on the lake in our fishing boat even though it was in the middle of the summer. I remember he had a thermos full of black coffee which smelled really good. It still does, but it tasted horrible. It still does. <laughs> there are only a few things I remember about that vacation, like I do not quite recall how long it was, but I was thinking one day that if I add up all the time, from about the time of the divorce to the time he passed away, I got to spend roughly a year with him total. June of 1986 was just after my sophomore year in high school ended. May of 2011 I sat in a church waiting to watch my daughter graduate from high school and I thought about my dad. I thought about that I had made it to see my daughter graduate high school. I had made it to 40, I had made it to see my child graduate, and in a few months she will start college. My mother told me my dad had said he would be here to watch me graduate high school, that he had promised. He just did not quite make it. I remember being in the car with him when I was younger. I was admiring this gold ring he was wearing. It had, I think, an onyx inset and a Spanish knight carved into it. I asked him about it and he told me I could have it after he was gone. But he planned on being around for a long time. I never did get that ring. <laughs> I remember sitting at home in my room one day in June. It was a month after my 16th birthday in 1986, and thinking I had not talked to my dad in a while, so I picked up my phone and dialed his number. The phone rang and his roommate answered. I said hello and asked to speak to him. He paused a moment, then told me my dad was sleeping. I asked him to tell him I called when he woke up and have him call me. He said okay. It would be a day or so later that my mother would take me over to my grandparents' house and we would sit on the porch swings under the carport and they would tell me my father had died. It was the only time I had ever seen my grandfather cry. It was also the same place, in the not too recent past, that my father had come out to me. I do not really remember the conversation. He said something about something, then asked if I knew what he had, and I, trying to be clever said something about him having the band get it band-aids yeah i did not say it was actually clever my father was gay and had aids ironically my father would be a part of the medical study for the drug cocktail that would ultimately extend the lives of people with aids and it was maybe a flip of the coin that had him in the placebo group versus the one that actually received the meds a flip of the coin that kept him from seeing me graduate a flip of the coin that kept him from seeing his granddaughter graduate. Other than him dying from it the fact that my father had AIDS and was gay never really affected me. I never really knew much about his life. This year he will have been gone 25 years. He has been physically gone from my life longer than he was a part of it. But I miss him. Every time my daughter hits a milestone I smile with pride and think about that he should be here to share it. And for all of the milestones that she has left to achieve that I will. Hopefully, be around four. Today is Father's Day. My daughter will probably call me to wish me a happy day at some point, if someone reminds her. <laughs> For me it is a day to recall all the fishing trips and games of catch, go-karts, archery sets, BB guns, chess games, holidays and other memories I have packed away that need to be dusted off. Happy Father's Day Dad. Wish I had gotten to know you better. Love you.